So Can Advice is, is the product of uh, a multidisciplinary collaboration. So it's myself and my colleague Reem Kayali, we're both pharmacists. My colleague from computing, Nada Philip, who is a mobile health expert. So initially the concept started with with us doing a piece of work at the Marsden where we were interested to see how patients processed all the information that they received related to their medicines. And what we discovered from there was that patients often feel very overwhelmed at the amount of information that they receive right at the beginning. So we thought maybe a way that we can consolidate all this information in one place so that patients will tap on a, an app. So again, the, the beauty of Can Advice is that we populated the content with what you, uh, Jill and Shumi, uh, would have recommended for, for your patients. It, it sounded like a fantastic idea um, and it, it really excited me because I, I know that lots of our patients need extra support and have a variety of problems and unmet needs and this seemed like a great tool by which we could address that. When we were talking to, to patients during our research, um, it was quite clear that patients are sometimes reluctant to pick up the phone and call their nurse or their healthcare profession. So they would uh, wait it out. Sometimes that's not a good idea because it can lead to a complication or a hospital admission. Because they are reporting it, it's all going through this uh, database so that the consultant can see what side effects they've experienced, how, yes. se how severe they were, and uh, probably react and come up with different recommendations accordingly. So I think that our, the Royal Marsden has, has brought the patients to the project and I think that the response from patients in our clinic has been overwhelmingly positive in wanting to get involved and to help improve this way of communicating. So Shireen, could you talk me through how you explain it to the patient when you put this app on their phone? I log on to the, uh, to the app and I show them how it's password protected and then I show them how they can go through all the side effects and then choose which side effect they're experiencing and then when they click on it they can actually then rate it. The patient I think feels better supported and probably more confident. Um, with the advice that we're giving and knowing that there is that connection to the hospital and I think that we as healthcare professionals also feel more confident knowing that our patients are, are not out there with, with side effects that, that they may feel in, in the lurch with. What are your aims for the future with this tool with Can Advice? I would like to roll it out to as many patients as possible because we've seen that it's, it works. Um, it has to be said I'd like to see this rolled out to patients with other tumour types and having other kinds of treatment so that they can benefit from what patients on this study have had the benefit from. For the students that worked with me, the research students, the PhD students who worked with me, for them to be able to participate in this piece of work and to collaborate with the Marsden, they got to see how important it is to forge relationships outside the realm of uh, Kingston University. And for us I think it's been really great to play a part in the development of a tool like this which is undoubtedly going to be the way that we communicate um, with patients in the future. It's been really really great to look back about how this collaboration started and discuss where we're going with it in the future. Mm -hmm.